Good morning, it's Joan and it's International Jazz Day. And my first introduction to traditional jazz was way back when I was in my 20s. I loved going to listen to Archie Solansky and Dan Hill when I lived in Johannesburg. They were just great. And then a couple of years later, I was lucky enough to visit New Orleans which is famous for its round-the-clock, vibrant, live music scene, um, which reflects its history as a melting pot of French and African and American cultures. So jazz was developed in the 19th and the 20th century from roots in blues and ragtime, which I was hoping to hear lots of while I was in New Orleans. And the one place that stuck in my mind um, in New Orleans from umpteen years ago is Preservation Hall, which was established in 1961 to honor traditional New Orleans jazz. So as we arrived at the venue and sat down, I was a bit unsure of what to expect. As we were sitting on school benches, the room was quite small and given that we were going to be seeing a a supposedly very good representation of jazz from New Orleans. I was really a bit doubtful about what was going to happen and the standard of the music, etc. Anyway, the, music, uh, the, the musicians arrived, all of whom were um, the other side of 70, which was old when I was back in my 20s. Well, all I can say is that I was completely blown away by the music the musicians, the atmosphere. It was just a great big huge wow. It was definitely the highlight of my holiday. And now living in the UK 40 years later, I saw that Chris Barber was playing locally in Liverpool. I couldn't believe my luck. So off we went. The music was great. It's just that there was one drawback. Chris Barber had fallen the week previously and broken his hip. So I didn't get to see him in person. So it's just as well his band can uh, carry on so, so well without him and produce such fantastic sound. So that's my take on International Jazz Day and thank you for watching.